Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. Now, first off, I did promise all of you a very packed episode for today. I'm going to have to push that back to tomorrow. I am very sorry. We have breaking news here as former Ty Lue coach and I guess player, you could say, that is Peacemaker, has officially responded on the situation where Ty Lue did forfeit their current major spot. I also want to update you guys on yesterday's video. I did miss misspoke a little bit. I misspoke for all you guys. Uh, to clarify for the Ty Lue stickers, as of right now, I called them contraband. They're not necessarily contraband, but they will never be in the game again. As to all those, ca all those capsules you guys bought all the stickers you guys did buy they will stay in the game but there are no more capsules yet going to be released in the game no more stickers released in the game and that is why the tyloo stickers the gold sticker autograph stickers the capsules involving tyloo stickers they are all going to rise in price until whatever demand actually stagnates and whatever kind of level it does break off at i'll show you guys quickly as well of course most of the gold stickers and uh, most expensive boston stickers so far are a majority from the tyloo team and that is because they can never be opened again whatever capsules you guys bought whatever stickers you guys bought that is it and they will never come into the game again Again, I, I, I severely think I stand by my words here, guys. Valve made a huge mistake here. We have a subpar team who is only going to a major qualifier, yet somehow their stickers are worth more than many, many stickers. You could say 99% of stickers out there, which is amazing to me. And of course, congrats to all of you guys who have made money off this. A lot of my personal friends invested in that, so congrats to all of you guys. You are much smarter than me. And again, I do apologize for all those people out there that I misled. Although I didn't tell you to buy these things, I told you not to buy them. So at least you guys didn't lose any money. You just lost a chance to make a lot of of money. Okay, uh, anyway, moving on, though, we do have breaking news here with Peacemaker, of course, releasing his final video. He actually said it a couple weeks ago he was going to work on the video stating his side of the thing and the situation going on between him and Ty Lue, and he mentioned a lot of great points in this. So first off, I will be linking all the evidence down below, all Peacemaker's things, his twit longer, his video. Uh, those are in Portuguese as well as English for all these speakers out there. And I will also post the twit longer from Ty Lue and their side of things about the situation. And the key thing is here, guys, there are both two sides saying different things. So one side is right. We don't know which side is correct as of right now. That can't really be fully proven. Let's talk about this though. And very quickly, I'll play you guys a clip of Peacemaker's video and link that full thing down below for all of you. And then I'll, of course, give you guys a TLDR on what was actually explained throughout the video. There are always two sides to a story. And since Tyler released their own statement, and in respect to the people who supports me and the people who didn't make any prejudgments, even with a lot of unrealistic facts being said everywhere. I decided to make this video in order to clarify everything. First of all, it was uh, almost six months ride with Tyler, where our absolute main goal as a team was to qualify for the next major. And I know how hard the players and me worked to make it happen. Even though it looks like some people are blinded by all the bullshit being said everywhere and have forgotten that I contributed and was part of the reason why they qualified to the major. As soon as I officially heard Bientet, Hansel, wouldn't be able to attend to the major, I contacted Tai Lu, making myself available to help if needed, and also made it clear that I would prefer if they find a substitute, because first, I don't have the desire of competing as a player right now. Two, I would have to give up on my vacation plans and my off time with my family after being months away from home. Third, the outcome of me competing as a player and not performing as good as people wanted or expected would directly impact my image in a bad way. Fourth, and not less important, directly impact my preparation with my team for early next year when we have a lot of important qualifiers and tournaments early February. Only two days after all this, 22nd of December, no contact between us at all. I rethought about the whole situation, talked to some of the players, and I decided to give up on the whole negotiation thing. Mainly because I did realize that it wasn't their fault. And also that even though it was what was happening to me was unfair, I didn't want to hurt my old teammates and all the fans. So I immediately contacted Tylo and E-League, saying that the money situation wasn't a thing anymore. And I didn't want all this to happen, so I was ready to give my best and compete anyway. 
And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I, he might have been talking about me, referencing other people out there. I was a bit hard on him last week. I was very harsh about the situation. I had heard rumors. I didn't say anything in particular that I thought was fully proven yet, but I definitely was against Peacemaker in the thought that I thought he was very, very selfish in the fact that he only wanted sticker money because the rumors out there was that originally he wanted sticker money. He did not get that sticker money. And of course, that's why they eventually went on to forfeit. But he did stress in this video, he told Ty Lue from the start, if we ever need a substitute, you need to get a substitute. I cannot play. I prefer not to play. The main overall reason was, it was a very kind of a weird way he worded this though if you guys caught that if I did show the correct clip there He also goes on to say that he doesn't want the main thing He didn't want to affect was his overall image He wants his image to be as a coach He doesn't want to be one of those coaches who tries to be a player and of course can't keep up with the famous pl uh, coach player uh, You know uh, we've seen a few coaches stand in for, for some time in CSGO and do quite well a uh, Strauss's coach liquid it's liquids coach You know a bit below that but but on top of that he doesn't want it to affect uh, other things out there his family time Of course, he also didn't want to affect his, his team uh, his team time time with Team Heroic was one of his main overall points as well. So when it goes beyond that, we have many reasons why he did eventually withdraw his negotiations from Ty Lue. He goes on further in the video to state something very peculiar though that I also caught as well. If you guys watched the full video, he went on to state though in the very end, towards the end of negotiations, he would have been willing to play for the team no matter what. With sticker money, without sticker money, he eventually would have played for them. I'm not really sure why he would have done that. You know, pressure wise, maybe he felt the pressure of the community backing down on him. He said eventually late in December, he actually went to Ty Lue and said, I will play with you guys. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. But Ty Lue also in their post said, I'll show you guys that as well. They said it was because of P uh, Peacemaker alone that the negotiations went south and that is why they could not play. They forfeited pretty much because of Peacemaker. So again, butting heads arguments here, guys. It's really up to you. Who do you choose to believe as of right now? Although Peacemaker... You really could tell the guy had a lot of emotion in the video. You know, we were getting choked up in the beginning. It was obviously a thing that's definitely heavily affected him. I do, I do feel quite bad for the amount of pressure he probably is undergoing, not only from the Chinese crowd, but also from other fans out there throughout the community and throughout the CSGO scene. It did not make him look particularly good, but this video definitely shows the emotion that shows how much pressure the situation had for him. So as of right now, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna play the fence, guys. I really don't know. You know, based off the uh, bouncing back of stories, it does seem Ty Lue and Peacemaker had extensive negotiations, and eventually it did go south. Peacemaker saying towards the end, he would have played no matter what. Ty Lue's saying it was because of Peacemaker, they had to forfeit because he wanted sticker money. We're going to see what comes to be true in the, in the end, guys, but it was Valve who made the ultimate mistake here. And I know I'm being a, little, a bit hard on Valve. I know I sound salty because I didn't make enough money. Guys, trust me, I don't care about the Ty Lue stickers. I'm, I'm glad you guys made money off it. The fact that is that I'm very salty, I'm very sad because I told you guys not to buy them. Although at the end of the day, I told you guys not to buy them. At least I didn't tell you guys to buy a bunch of things and then that went south and you actually lost money. You guys just lost a chance to make money. And I I do really feel bad for that. So leave a comment down below. What do you guys think happened between Tyloo and Peacemaker? It's official though. Tyloo is out. Flash Gaming is in. And we will have six capsules that will eventually be 25% off. And none of those capsules will be actually include Tyloo stickers or Tyloo autograph stickers as well. And those stickers will continue to rise as, of course, the, the timing of all this, the Chinese market is now here. And they're going to play with the prices until they find them to be suitable. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSGO News. I will see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow morning with some more CSGO News. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a comment down down below. As always, my name is Jake Murray, like you. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Goodbye. There are always two sides to a story.